Uh, hey guys and welcome to another video of spark plug so in this video tutorial i'm going to show you uh, how you to create this uh, uh, spherical spring or you can use this trick to form a conical or uh, a rectangular spring as you want so let's start with the trick so uh, the first step is to draw the profile for example here i have used a spherical profile to draw these coils so draw a circle uh, i will draw a circle say of 100 mm diameter make a line between them so that we can revolve it to form a sphere of 100 mm diameter click on this axis click on new body and press ok now uh, click on the origin so that you can see the planes now the trick is go to sketch go to helix and click on the top face plane and you can see there's a helix is the helix is generated so first of all the first helix the the radius of first helix will be larger than the radius of this uh, sphere so the radius of this sphere is uh, about 50 mm so let's just make the radius 60 uh, and again if you just see from the side view uh, the height from this point to the top point of this sphere is 100 mm as the diameter is 100 mm so uh, make the pitch as 10 and the revolution 10 so if you multiply 10 by 10 the pitch will be the 100 and this is how uh, the helix will start from the base point of this sphere to the top point of this sphere and make sure the helix diameter is slightly larger than the diameter of the sphere now press ok now once the helix is created again go to sketch and click on helix repeat the same procedure repeat the same procedure with same revolution and same pitch 10 and this time keep the radius of uh, the uh, radius of the helix is uh, uh, as uh, low as possible for this uh, I will take 5 mm radius so that it can be inside the sphere and press ok now wait for the system to make the helix now uh, just switch off this body for while and click on a sketch and, and choose the base plane and draw a line joining the base point of this helix and base point of this helix and click on stop sketch now you can see both the helix are joined with this uh, line now again switch to patch workspace and click on swift make sure you have uh, selected a type as path plus guided rail um, choose the uh, choose the profile as the line you have drawn and make and choose the path as the inner helix make sure you have chosen the taken the path as the inner helix and guided rail as the outer helix and wait for the system to respond and press ok make sure it's new body and press ok now you have a beautiful structure like this to so bring back the spherical body go to modify go to trim now it will ask you about the trim tool click on the spherical body and then click on the outer surface of the this helix and press ok now you can see that the uh, outer entities has been trimmed now switch of switch uh, of the spherical body now you can see it's uh, it has taken the shape of a spherical shape so again go to uh, sketch go to project and click include 3d geometry choose any surface you want click on the outer surface of this helix and stop sketch now just switch off the body now you can see we have a path to draw our uh, sketch now again switch back to model workspace click on create go to pipe select this part and you can alter the diameter or you can alter the um, 
section types whether it's you want a square rectangle triangle twist angle taper angle and click on ok so now uh, you have created the uh, this spherical spring so th this method can be used to uh, draw any kind of spring whether it's a square whether it's rectangle or even the pyramid shape like a structure so hope you guys will enjoy the video please comment any queries and suggestions for my upcoming videos thank you and have a nice day